Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How's It Ale. It's Saturday night, which means it's craft beer night and the beer we're going for is this one. It is Northern Monk's Uprising. And Uprising is an IPA weighing at 6% ABV and it says on the side of the can that it is citrus, piney and hoppy. And it says on the back of the can that India Pale Ale, where it all started again, bright and bitter modern IPA with Centennial, Simcoe and Strata hops. And uh, yeah, it looks very similar can wise to New World IPA, which I loved. I absolutely loved it. And this appears to have replaced it in the supermarkets. I hope it is as good as the original New World IPA. So, yeah, what does it say on here? Does it give us anything else? No, the usual ingredients are water, malted barley, and hops and yeast. Uh, there's no mention of the IBU, so I don't know quite how bitter it is. I hope it's nice and bitter like New World was. Uh, otherwise, it could be a bit of a disappointment. Anyway, the Northern Monk, they generally don't disappoint. So, uh, so yeah, let's get it out into a glass and see what we think. So, we're going to pour into my Northern Monk glass, of course. And the pour is golden, pretty clear, which given what it is, is a bit of a surprise. Oh no, there, there, there is haze, it's just the initial pour. So, that's your beer in a glass. It looks great. I mean, look at that up close. Look at it. Look, it's a lovely golden colour with a nice off-white head. You've got, you've got, you have got some haze. I mean, I can still see my fingers through it, but yeah. And you've got some inclusions. You've got, you've got a bit of murk. Let's see, can I get my, you can't get my face through it. There's your bonus for the day. You can't see me boat race. So it looks good. Does it smell good? Let's find out. It's quite light on the aroma. That is a surprise. I mean, it's there. You've got citrus flavours coming through on the nose. You've got you've got a hint of tropical, not massive. You've just got more citrus than anything. You've got a hint of the resin on the nose. When you get that last end of a big deep breath, you get the hint of the resin. And a nice chewy hop. Yeah. I'm all right so far. Looks good. It smells light. Does it taste good though? Let's find out. Cheers. Yeah, it does. It's a Northern Monk beer. It kind of stands to reason it's going to taste good. It's hoppy, first and foremost. It is resinous. It is bitter, but not quite as bitter perhaps as the New World used to be. You've got nice, juicy, chewy hops coming through there. Nice malt in the background, almost caramel-like. And that complements that bitterness of the resin quite nicely. It's medium heavy, soft in the mouth. Carbonation is just right. It's almost like cast delivered in that it's there, but it's not there, if that makes sense. And the back end is where you get most of the bitterness. It's a, it's a little bit less bitter, in my experience, than New World used to be. And I know it's kind of unfair to judge it against the old, the old, but uh, it is what it is. It's bitter enough. It, it holds enough bitterness to, to please me as an IPA drinker. Yeah, there's a little bit of, little bit of orange coming through at, the, at, at points as well, just as... As you aerate the beer in your mouth, you get a little hint of orange. And it's not like a mandarin type, just a regular run-of-the-mill Seville orange, that kind of thing going on. A little bit of grapefruit. All told, it's a citrusy, piney IPA. And all the better for it. Hmm. So, Northern Monk Uprising IPA. What do I think of you? Well, I think you're right. But let's tell you what Untapped thinks of you first of all. And as of New Year's Day 2022, the uprising for Northern Monk has had 856 check-ins and an average of 3.62, which is surprisingly low. 
on the check-ins and for one of their mainstream core IPAs it's, it's a pretty decent score. My scoreboard of joy though will reflect slightly differently, it's currently empty, I've remembered to do it properly tonight uh, unlike last night's uh, alcohol free beer review. I've actually got the boards prepared tonight. So let's give it some looks, body, aroma, taste and the finish, all the usual jazz. So let's get the looks first of all. Just top that off. It's a good looking beer. There's no getting away from that. It's a nice golden color with a hint of that caramel color as well. You got a nice sort of tight white head. Again, just as a reminder, that's your beer up close. Looks good. Looks like a very quaffable beer. I have zero qualms with giving it a full point. The aroma, as mentioned, was a little bit on the light side. It's it's there, don't get me wrong, but compared to other Northern Monk offerings, I mean, think like Heathen and, like I say, New World, their bigger punchy IPA is just smash you in the face. But this one, it's a little bit more restrained. You've got citrus coming through. You've got a nice malt profile coming through on the nose. It is, like I say, restrained. It's a restrained version of those kind of beers. It's nice though. It's very nice. I love what I smell. Could just do with being a touch stronger to really level up and give it huge amounts of, uh, of, of, of smelling pleasure. It's going to get the 0.75 from me. The body is very good. Like I say, medium heavy, smooth in the mouth and exquisite carbonation. I cannot fault it at all. It gets a full point. The taste is where it matters most and it delivers. It is bitter, it is hoppy, it is juicy. It's got everything I want from a beer of that caliber. Is it perfect? Yeah, pretty much. You know, it, it delivers everything it says it will and a little bit more. And finally, the finish. The finish on an IPA, as we know, I like them hoppy, long, bitter, and ideally resinous. This is hoppy, it's long, it's slightly bitter, and it's resinous. You know, I would call for more bitterness, but that's just personal taste. This, though, I think will appeal to more people uh, than someone like me who just likes to be hit with a freight train of hops and bitterness on the back end. It's really, really good. It gets a full point. So, I think we all caught up there and run along with my scores, which means it's got 4.75 out of 5 on the, my untapped scoreboard of joy. No so. It's a good beer. It's a very good core beer. Is it as good as New World? No, I don't think it is. Um, I preferred New World because it was a bit more bitter. This, though, is decent enough. It is decent enough. It delivers on what it says it's going to do, namely it is citrusy, it's hoppy, and it is piney, it's resinous. Yeah, it's good. It's a, it's a good replacement, but I would prefer New World. Anyway, I'm going to waffle if I carry on too much longer. So I'm just going to say that's been the beer. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish and have a fantastic, healthy, happy and prosperous 2022. Catch you again soon.